Hey everyone, mm. welcome to Drop Shot Entertainment. I'm Jose, aka Vegasambis. I am here with Inglorious Fool. <laughs> What's up? Notice me, Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Drop Shot Entertainment's uh, weekly news wrap up uh, for the week of uh, August 17th to the 21st. We're going to talk about the news that was kind of caught our attention personally, news that we want to talk about. Yep. Uh, if we've missed anything that we should have talked about, tell us in the comments below and we'll make sure to notice what you want us to talk about and put that. make sure we put that in our next video. Uh, for now, we're going to talk about... I should probably get through this. Well, for now, who's going to stop clicking that fucking pen? Yeah, I, I, I got rid of it. I noticed <laughs> I was clicking it. I put it away. Uh, but here, the first thing we're going to talk about is the Final Fantasy Portal app that came out for iOS. It came out on the 19th, and it has a bunch of cool stuff. It has, uh, if you want to look at their most recent news for anything Final Fantasy, you can check it out right there in the app. Uh, they have all their apps, so like you can get quick access to all the apps that they have, all the Final Fantasy like uh, games uh, that they have available for you to download on iOS. They also have an exclusive game that you can only play in the app, which is the Triple Trade Final Fantasy VII card game, it's finally on the freaking phone. I've been wanting this for a while. Like I, like by far, super fun uh, feature in Final Fantasy VIII is that card game, dude. Like walking around. I've never played it, man. Uh, walking around and you're just like, hey, let's battle. Like kind of like just dueling, like you know, like kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. Like you're walking around. Yeah. And you see somebody is like, "Hey, I have those card. I have the card game. You want to duel?" And it's like, "Yeah, it's duel." And then you play with your cards, and then if you win a round, I think you win the cards that you win in that round. So you you get oh. more cards like that. So you can play with people online. You can play with the computer. Uh, there is it is a mobile game. So there is microtransactions. There is a life bar. So like uh, you get I think five turns that you can get to play five times. And then either you buy more kind of like lives, uh, they call them crystals, I think. You can buy more to keep on playing, or you can wait 30 minutes to get another one back. Which, I hate that. It's mobile, man. It's it's a free game. That's it's that's cool fun. though. You know, whatever floats it's, your boat. It's finally here. I I know I'm gonna be playing the hell out of this game. I'm probably not gonna buy more lives. I'm probably just gonna be playing it all my five lives and just wait. Yeah. Until I get more lives. Which is not, uh, you know what? I, I don't mind it for mobile games because sometimes you can't constantly be playing a game, you know? Yeah. Like, it eats battery and stuff, you know? It's like, it's good to have a little break. So yeah. that's available now. Uh, it says only iOS, so sorry, Android. <laughs> <laughs> but good news for Android Fallout Shelter finally is out for Android. Uh, uh, yes. that, uh, last week's news, but just in case you missed it. Um, Thought it would Fun be game. a perfect time to bring it up since you know we're talking, you know, apps that don't come out. Did it notice us? Okay, yeah, the most shelter. exciting news, the most exciting news right now that we're going to talk about that just got uh, announced Pokemon tournament. Pokemon tournament. tournament. Yo, super excited. I gotta get a Wii U. I don't care if it's out to, uh, spring 2016, but I'm still getting a Wii U. So, oh, if you don't know, this so is. The arcade game available in Japan. It's been, I think, an arcade exclusive. It's yeah. a Pokemon game developed by Namco and Bandai or Bandai it's Namco. It's a skinned Tekken, pretty much. Yeah, it's developed by Re-skinned Tekken. Skinned Tekken. It's a, it's the Tekken publishers, uh, with Bandai Namco. They're making this. They made this game, this arcade game. It's just a fighting game. It's not like it's not Pokemon Stadium, people. It's not turn based. This is you mm-hmm. and the other player just freaking fighting out in like Tekken style. Tekken, it's, yes, but you still get to use your fucking thunder shock and your thunderbolt and your flamethrower. And it your looks freaking water. awesome. Oh my god, it looks so amazing! I want it right now. So yeah, there's that. Notice me, senpai. That just came out. <laughs> that, that, that news just came out. So uh, so good. They're gonna be doing a Pokemon tournament event. I think there's one going on right now, but they're not live streaming it. it sucks. I know. Fuck it. Uh, but man, I'm so excited. We're gonna get it. We're gonna play the shit out of it. We're gonna do you we're gonna do a lot of stuff with that game. Super excited. Also stuff that came out this week. 
zombie. The zombie you port. I or guess it can came, yeah. It's out now for PC, so it's available on Steam, and I'm sure it's out on Xbox as well. It's on an Xbox One. It's out on uh, PlayStation 4. I'm not sure about last-gen consoles. Not 100% sure, but PS4, Xbox One, PC, Zombie, without the U, because it's not on the Wii U. Uh, it came out, and I'm going to get it, because obviously I don't have a Wii U. I wanted to play that game. That's the one game I wanted to play uh, for uh, for the Wii U and never got to play it. Although people are saying that it's kind of meh now that it doesn't have the gamepad because your inventory was in the gamepad and gave you like that other sense of like fear, I guess, that you need yeah. to look at the gamepad to like do some stuff, equip some stuff, and you never know when a zombie's coming at you. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but everybody's saying it's still a good game. They even said that back in the day when Wii U came out, it's still a good game. Excited it has mostly us. positive reviews on uh, Steam, and it's twenty dollars. So if you guys want to get 20 it, twenty bucks, twenty bucks for a game. It's not bad. It's, not bad. Oh, how much was it on Wii U? Sixty bucks. Sixty bucks when it came out. Yes. Uh, uh, also, this is another like last week's news. Like this is our first weekly news roundup. So uh, last Bear week, weather. last week, something really exciting, exciting to me happened. They announced the Resident Evil 2 is getting a full fleshed remake. What does that mean? I do not know right now <laughs> because the word remake is very uh, gray area. Like it might be just a port, hopefully not, but it sounds like they're going to make what they did to Resident Evil 1 for the GameCube, which they completely like redid it, but they're mm-hmm. going to do it for the next gen consoles, which hopefully. Like I said, it's just not like a reskinned. It's not a uh, freaking uh, texture upgrade. I'm hoping they go in there and completely remake it. I want it to be made from the ground up, dude. Uh, like they did with the Resident Evil, the remake for the GameCube, which they yeah. completely remade it. They even added new features and new areas to the game. So that's why I'm, that's what I mean when they remake it from the ground up. It's exciting, yeah. Uh, so pretty exciting it might have happened it might have pushed them to do it because there was a fan made version of it being happening somebody was creating a fan version of a remake and like an hd remake they had put 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 up a beta uh not beta uh, a demo out for people to play for free and then all of a sudden all of a sudden capcom came up or the resident evil studio came up it's like hey what do you guys think about Resident Evil 2 Remake? Like, should it happen? Give us your feedback. They did us on Facebook. If Casey want to know and get, like, your quickest news about whatever de- developer you want to follow in uh, from Japan, they're on Facebook. And they're on Facebook a lot, dude. That's where they, they communicate <laughs> with their fans. I don't know why, but just a little tip. Like, if you want to get some quick access news about Japan, uh, video game development, Facebook. Look at look look them up on Facebook. But yeah, they posted out that on Facebook, and they're like, "Hey, what do you guys think about this? Should we like, what would you want to see in a rate make?" And everybody was just telling me, like, "Dude, do it! Like, yes, we're freaking like, just just do it, man!" And they're doing it. And now so. they're doing it. So that's pretty much it that we had to talk about. Like I said, this is our first news roundup. This is the news that caught our eye and thought we we should say. Uh, Shit, the one thing that caught my eye was Pokken. I don't know what that's the biggest news. Right now. <laughs> that's the biggest news, and that, that thing looks amazing. Go watch that trailer, man. Yeah. You guys, that's, if you're a big Pokemon fan, we'll link we'll link the trailer. Uh, on yeah, we'll link all the all the stuff below. that we we talked about today. We'll link it down the I don't know, it's not at the comment section, but like in the little description section. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it for uh, the news for the week of August. Do uh, so have anything that we missed? Go ahead and let us know in the comment section below as well. And we'll be back next Friday with more news. Hopefully. And more anime. <laughs> you want to keep talking about that, right? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you again. Peace.